Okay, so Chris Tyson has finally responded to all the allegations and also made an apology. So quick recap for you guys, or you can watch my previous video. Basically, Chris Tyson is Mr. Beast's friend who appears in a lot of the videos, and Chris was just exposed for about 50 different things, okay? Number one is purchasing art from Shadman, who is a degenerate freak who draws real children in prawn scenarios like Keemstar's eight-year-old daughter. So Chris would purchase illegal art from Shadman of these uh, lollipop type uh, pictures and frame it on their living room wall. Number two, Chris had a million degenerate tweets begging for this illegal art of popular characters like Beast Boy, Caillou, and Mabel and Dipper from Gravity Falls. Number three, Chris was allegedly exposed for exchanging inappropriate messages with two separate 14 year olds when Chris was 20. That is obviously one of the worst ones. Uh, anyways, we're gonna be covering everything, starting with Chris's apology to all the allegations to everybody's response to the situation. So here we have Chris's tweet. I would like to apologize for any of my past behavior or comments if it hurt or offended anyone. It was not my intent. Seeing recent events, we've mutually decided it's best that I permanently step away from all things Mr. Beast and social media to focus on my family and mental health. Okay, first off, stay away from your family. Stay away from Tucker, your poor son, who does not deserve a disgusting, despicable parent such as yourself, who is clearly interested in minors, okay? And this is such a non-apology. This is basically Chris saying that, uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry if you got offended by me talking to kids. Like, please. Here's what the replies are saying. If you're apologizing, are you saying all of the allegations are true? Because that's what this statement appears to be suggesting. I mean, if somebody doesn't deny that they weren't talking to like underage children and all of this degenerate stuff, you're basically admitting it. Pathetic, you didn't apologize to me a month ago in private when I brought up your behavior supporting the cartoon artist that drew my eight-year-old daughter in a sexual way. What changed? Yeah, exactly. You had a conversation with Keemstar regarding this, all right? That time you didn't apologize, but now after all this public backlash, you seem very apologetic. They should be checking your hard drives. So this was true in Sensitive Society linking the Sunny V2 video. Prison for you, pedo. Bro, you are disgusting and should be in jail forever. I agree. Okay, so Chris continues the apology saying, I want to add that I never groomed anyone. The person who gets brought up in these accusations, Lava, has vocally supported that they are false. This is so stupid because you're basically taking the opinion of the child that was groomed by you. Like, if the grooming was successful, yes, they would be on your side because you have successfully brought them to your side with your goddamn grooming. You were sending inappropriate messages to this 13-year-old kid when you were 20. You didn't deny any of that, okay? Basically, everything we've seen has been real. So, I don't know. There's no defending that. You gotta be locked up, all right? This is EDP 445 behavior. Having said that, I humbly apologize to anyone I've hurt with my unacceptable social media posts, past actions, and to those who may feel betrayed by how I used to act online. To lump these two factors together to create a narrative that my behavior extended beyond bad, edgy jokes is disgusting and did not happen. In the past years, I've learned that my old human is not acceptable. I cannot change who I was, but I can continue to work on myself. Okay, this is hilarious because here you are saying that it's just edgy jokes when you literally bought illegal art and framed it on your wall. Nice try trying to completely twist the situation and failing miserably. I don't want these accusations to impact the hundreds of people who work at Mr. Beast, which is why I've stepped away. Now listen, I'm not a guilt by association type of guy, but you cannot tell me nobody Nobody in the Mr. Beast crew knew about Chris Tyson's behavior when that picture was framed on the wall and Mr. Beast clearly looked at that as well. So I don't know. I'm not going to say anything, but if more people get exposed in the coming weeks and months, do not be surprised. And I called it, okay? Uh, my first response, obviously, you are a degenerate. Thank you. Please like this tweet. Alleged pedo, sorry if you were offended, focuses on mental health. Dr. Chris respect. Hey, Chris. I heard you like I'm young. What about the victims? No, 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 don't care about the victims. I'm sorry if the victim was offended, by the way. See you never, hopefully. Hope your ex-wife keeps you well away from that kid. See, this is what I didn't understand. Like, uh, the thing is, if, if Chris's wife comes out and defends Chris again regarding this situation, I will completely lose faith in humanity because there is no way the wife also didn't know about all of this considering it was public. And if you're the wife of someone, you definitely know about them. So. 
I am, dude, my susso meters are going off on everybody. I got red laser eyes. I'm, I'm about to homelander everybody with laser vision right now. Nobody is safe. Everybody's a PP, bro. Your apology is not accepted. Can't believe there were people defending this MF. <laughs> Rip bozo. So this was one of the people that Chris groomed and they came out defending them. These videos are massive lies and twisting the truth. Ava never did anything wrong and made a few edgy jokes. I was never exploited or taken advantage of. And they linked two videos, one by a Cheeto and Sensitive Society. The thing is, this person has brain damage because these two videos didn't even talk about this grooming situation at all. They talked about the same thing I talked about, which was the lollipop art and the Shadman situation, which is completely unrelated. So this person made a follow-up a day after refusing to take out the original tweet with 15 million views, spreading lies, saying, I'm not a victim. I'm not backpedaling. Everything I've stated is true, which is not. This is literally false right here. Yesterday, while under a lot of stress from trying to get my story out as quickly as possible, I made a mistake and included two videos that had nothing to do with my situation. Here are the correct videos and these ones should be taken down. And this is uh, the videos talking about the minor situation. But the thing is, they shouldn't be taken down because they're merely speculating on what happened. You can't take down a video just because you don't like it and just because you were exposed as a victim of Chris. Like, in fact, a lot of people are responding saying, why did he publicly apologize then? You can't mass brigade and send everyone to take down these videos. Why do you do this to yourself? You were a child and had a grown man messaging you and being inappropriate with you. You may not see yourself as a victim, but in a society where children should be protected, it has failed you and he. And as a grown man, he should have known better. Exactly, that's the thing. This person doesn't know that they're a victim because they were taken advantage of by creepy Chris, all right? <laughs> That's our new name for Chris. Creepy Chris, all right? Yet another tweet of Chris being extremely weird in Discord calls with minors. I know, dude. I would come inside of that egg and then watch her eat it and then watch her have sex with another man while she comments about how my never satisfy her. Okay, I, I don't even know if I put that in the video. That is the most vile string of words I've heard in a while. That's straight out of a... Uh, a prano like you wouldn't even find that on the hub i don't know this is crazy bro what he just said is absolutely wild he was talking about releasing inside an egg and then watching it or whatever i don't know bro i hope he gets cancer in the mouth Please. i i hope he goes his entire life not smoking a single cigarette and then when he gets 80 he just gets with some by some dude with some cancer and he shoves it in his mouth and yeah mouth cancer. Yeah. Ah, yes. Cancer dick. Totally uh, appropriate thing to talk about with kids, Chris. Very nice. Very classy. No way we got Chris Defenders. That isn't a crime? What? <laughs> Well, check this person's hard drive. Oh my God. Now that brings us to the new culture war that is happening. Basically, everyone's saying that Dr. Disrespect was called out immediately when the situation went down, but people are waiting to call out Chris because they are trans and they don't want to be accused of being transphobic. And essentially, people are saying that they are biased, right? Here we got this person saying Pokimane and Valkyrie when addressing Chris Tyson versus Dr. Disrespect. They posted the exact same time to kiss up to, all right, and refused to disavow Chris, but they went completely scorched earth on Doc on X on stream. The bias is so obvious. And we got some Pokimane tweets. You know it's bad when we see Pokimane in any video ever. I don't know all the details regarding the Ava situation, but I want to make it clear. Any inappropriate behavior towards minors is unacceptable, regardless of who you are. And then follows up saying, it is a shame that people see this as an opportunity to attack the trans community as a whole. One person's actions does not reflect every single trans person, so please don't view it that way. See, this has always been insane to me, okay? Who gives a single shit if Chris is trans? That doesn't make them immune to criticism and that doesn't make them any less of a literal PDF file. So I don't know, I definitely do agree they do. They did take a way longer time to speak out about this and a lot of other people took a way longer time as well, but that is just because it is associated with Mr. Beast, who's such a big person who recently invited like a hundred YouTubers, including Pokimane and including like Ludwig and a lot of other people who don't necessarily want to lose favor with Mr. Beast. Obviously, these same people are the ones that kiss up to Hassan, an absolutely degenerate scumbag. So I don't know, they, they basically have no morals. And this was a uh, Pokemon's response to Dr. Disrespect. Just a simple yuck. And Valkyrie, I'm still in the process of moving, so I haven't been able to keep up. But in the meantime, pedo's bad. Trans is not equal to pedo. The actions of one trans person does not mean all. I'm hoping Ava speaks up. Dr. D is still gross. Lastly, the insults that only tag Pokemon to speak up when 
even though everybody did after D himself. Focus your hate towards the POs. Dr. Disgusting. That's like, you didn't need to say, oh wait, not all straight people over here or something. I don't know. Now, Jake the Viking, who is Mr. Beast's former employee, has come out with a bunch of tweets saying, this is why all your favorite influencers are fake and have no backbone. Doc gets accused with the no evidence. Everyone attacks him and runs him through the mud. Loses sponsors before a drop of proof is presented. Okay, this is a little delusional. <laughs> Doc literally admitted it as well, so I don't know. Now the age of the person Doc is talking to hasn't been confirmed, but they were a minor for sure. But I will say Chris is way worse, all right? Chris's actual proof, screenshots, recordings, and everyone who jumped Doc is effing silent. Whereas the energy, whereas the outroar, everyone who hasn't said a word should be ashamed. You're soft and pathetic. Grow a pair. Now, I can't believe I'm saying this, but in this situation, I actually feel for Keemstar. Uh, he talks about how he didn't leak private DMs, but he broke his own rules to leak a private convo with Chris Tyson because his daughter was involved. And I emotionally started tweeting the truth about Chris Tyson because so many online people were involved. I'm happy I played in the part in the truth coming out. Basically, his uh, innocent eight-year-old daughter was brought into the situation in a disgusting way, which I don't wish that sort of uh, shit to happen to anyone, right? Now, we can't really have a Pegasus video without shitting on Hassan. Hassan refuses to talk about Chris Tyson sending inappropriate messages to a minor. Classic Hassan move. Has Hassan talked about Mr. Beast Chris? Think about this. This is no different than the Cody Co shit where people were just like, hey, I know that the current sitting president dropped out of the re-election campaign in the most historic thing that has happened in this election cycle in a sea of historic things that have happened so far. Has Hassan talked about Mr. Beast Chris. That is absolutely nothing to do with anything and you know it. You are so absolutely terminally online 18 hours a day. You talk about anything and everything. The only reason you didn't talk about Chris is be because it's bad for optics and your side is, oh my God, LGBT, I can't possibly criticize a trans person even if they are a literal PDF file, which just shows how absolutely insane and partisan this actual hack is. Okay, so shut the f up and actually for once in your life you know try to be fair okay god damn it if it was someone you hate you'd be talking about them there are plenty of people i hate and i don't talk about them in times like this because i unfortunately for you weirdo drama perverts there are fifty thousand other adults here that actually are coming in here for political commentary. By the way, anyone posting videos now after the fact is just doing it because it's safe to call out Chris now when when they did nothing when the story actually broke. It was just me and a, a few other people, essentially. I pray to God that Jimmy is not a freak, by the way. Like, I, I am praying that he didn't know about Chris and he didn't know about any of this. But um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Bye-bye.